Hello friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. And today is square number or rectangle number six for our Harry Styles sweater. The one that everybody has been asking me about. And today is the day. It's the Jacquard Square. Hooray! Remember, I have the pattern for it that the J.W. Anderson people were so sweet as to give out for free, but it's a knitting pattern. I'm not a knitter. I can barely hold the needles properly anymore. I learned how to do that when I was little, but I didn't know what any of the stitches were named. I didn't really know how to do it very well. The crochet hook was always my best friend. I just was never a knitter. So I have it. Um, so it doesn't really do me much good, but I do have the little grid right here that they say that the jacquard is supposed to be. So that was nice, but it's really small. It's only this big. It's only seven rows. So what I did is I had to extrapolate it out and make it into a square that matches all of the other ones. I got out my trusty graph paper because you know I've been going on crazy on my graph paper lately and that's just how I did it. Put it together right here. Now I'm going to use my big twist value deep red. Remember this is deep red and this one is just black. So I'm going to use those two and a five millimeter hook today. You're going to find all the other squares already done. This is number six. This is the last one. And you know that couple of them used a four millimeter just because the square would get too big and I wanted to keep them about five and a half by six and a half. Five and a half this way and six and a half this way. So it's just not quite a square. It's a tiny rectangle. So here is my first attempts. There's one, there's two, there's three, and I was not happy with any of these and I finally settled on this one that I have a nice big pile of and this is what I'm going to show you today. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! Like I said, this is a seven row repeat. I'm going to teach you the first seven rows and then you're going to do that again and again and again. So it's going to be awesome. It's really simple. Now your yarn is going to get twisted up a little bit, but that's okay. Start out like we did on all the other ones, which is a chain of 20. Remember, everything ended up being 19 wide, 19 stitches wide, so we're going to chain 20 with our black. There's 19 and there's 20. And then we're going to turn our chain over and work one single crochet into each one of these little back bumps all the way down. So you end up with 19 single crochets. And here's my last one in the little back bump, number 19. There we go. Normally I would not work with black, but I really wanted you to see how it would be working. With the red, it's a little bit easier to see. So let's just single crochet all the way down. Now we have 19 single crochets. That was our first row. But our first row of our pattern repeat for the jacquard print is going to do about this. The first seven rows are the repeat. So here's my first row. I'm going to chain one, turn our work, and in our first space, closest to the hook, our first stitch, single crochet, but just pull this up, do not finish that stitch because it is already time to add on our red. So we're going to change colors now. So this is our first stitch, but we're not going to finish it. All single crochet. I'm going to get my red. Now you fasten on, finish this stitch with red just like that. So our black is complete, but now we're ready to work with our red. Now the next stitch is red, so our red is on our hook. We go through the next stitch, yarn over, pull up, and do the exact same thing again. We have to change colors already. So what we're going to do, changing our color, because there's a one black and then one red, just drop that red, so you can pick it up later. I'm going to pick up the black now trying to keep this on camera. On camera, There we go. Pick up our black and finish our red stitch. 
just like we did with the black one. So now we have a black stitch and a red stitch right next to each other. Our black is on our hook. So the next stitch is a black stitch and for one. So again, we did not finish our stitch. We're going to drop the black and grab the red again. Not all the rows change colors this rapidly, but then we want to finish this stitch with our red. So now we have black, red, and black. Now it gets a little bit easier. The next six stitches along here are red. So we want to go into our next stitch. With, and these are all single crochets and also carry our black along with us. So you want to kind of bury that while we yarn over, pull through, and see my black is right here. I'm going to carry that all the way down so it's ready to use after I get these next six done. So six reds. One, and I'm working around that black. Two, three, four, five, and now number six, we don't finish that stitch just like we did up at the beginning. We're going to go through, yarn over, pull up. I have two loops on my hook. Drop the red, pick up the black, and finish our stitch. So there we have one black, one red, one black, six reds. Now we have to do one more black. We're going to go over our red to carry it over to here to the next stitch, just like we did with the black. So there's our red. Yarn over, pull up, two loops on my hook. So we have to drop the black again and finish our stitch with red. So now we have one, 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 six, one black one, and then the next six are red. So again, we're going to carry our black down so that we're, it's ready and hanging out waiting down here for us when we get done with our next six reds. One, two, three, four, and five. And now number six is just like it was before, but we're going to go through, yarn over, pull up, put two loops on our hook, don't finish that. Stitch, we want to finish it with the black so our black is ready to go. And now we've carried over so our black is hanging out right here exactly where we need it to be. Have one stitch of black. So we're going to work over our red again. There's my black. Drop the black. Finish that stitch with the red. The next stitch is red. So pull up, finish the stitch with the black. And now we can leave our red. We don't need to carry it all the way to the end. So we have a nice finished edge all the way up and on both sides. It's just going to be black. So it's really easy to connect everything without it getting sloppy. So our very last stitch right here is black. Complete your stitch. There's row one. So again, that was really easy. One black, one red, one black. Six red, one black. Six red, one black, one red, one black. There's our 19 stitches. So there's our bottom row. That's row one of our repeat. It's really easy and you're going to get really, really good at this color change. Now what I want to do, here's my trick. This, you, this is a good one. See right here, my red is on the back side from where I was just working. We were working, this is our right, right side and this was our wrong side. I'm going to put a marker on the wrong side because this is the side that we always need to keep our yarn on and I will explain that here just in a moment so that we don't have any, you can see the difference back here where things get carried a little bit, whereas this is the right side and it really looks perfect. So we're going to chain one, 
turn our work. And you see now my red is in the front and that's where it's going to need to stay. The first four stitches in row two are all black. So we're just going to do four single crochets. There's one. And now we're here though. I want to carry this red with me. So I'm going to go under this red and do our second black. See now our red is getting pulled along with us, but it's in the front. And there's number three. And then our last black stitch, pull up two loops. All right, so we want to change to our red. Our working yarn was our black. Pull it to the front and just hold it down with your thumb. Tighten up your red a little bit and finish that stitch with red. So now we're ready to work with red and we want to carry this black along the front again because it's the side that has our marker on it. The yarn always wants to be on this side of your piece. So we have a right side and a wrong side. The right side's pretty, the wrong side looks a little bit more sloppy and you don't want that. And our next three stitches are red. And we want to carry our yarn with us again. There's one, two, and our third one is going to be completed with black. So there's our two loops. Pull the red to the front, crossing over the black, and finish that stitch with black. So now we have four black stitches and four red stitches. Now we're going to repeat that. Next four stitches are black. So there's one carrying along our red, two, three. Now four is where we have to change our color. So here's my fourth one, two loops on my hook the red back. Just hold it with my thumb here for a second. Tighten up your red a little bit and finish that stitch with red. So there's four, three, four. Now the next three are red. So there's one carrying our black along with us. Two. And there's number three. But we have to finish our stitch with black. So pull our red over cross over the black, tighten up the black a little bit and finish our stitch with black. So four, three, four, three. And now the next five stitches are black. I want to go carry my red. I'm just going to carry it for one because it doesn't need to go all the way down to the end. I'm just going to leave it right here now, but it's still on this side. So there's one, two, three, four, and number five. And there's row two, and this is now considered the wrong side. The right side is over here looking really pretty. Okay, so here's the right side. Right side looks pretty. The wrong side is not quite as pretty. So we're going to use this one. We're going to keep our yarn on this side all the time. All right, row three is chain one, turn our work. And see my red is on the other side now. We always want to keep it there. Keep it always to the same side. The first four stitches of row three are black. One, two, three, and four. But don't finish that stitch. We need to finish it with red. So this is a lot easier. You can just drop your black, pick up your red, and finish that stitch. Now the first four are done. The next one stitch is red. So two loops on our hook, but we have to finish with black. So drop your red, tighten up your black just a little bit, and finish the stitch with black. There we go. We did it again. The next stitch is one black. Just one black. So we're going to carry our yarn or red along with us. Two loops on our hook, drop the black, finish the stitch with red. Now our next two stitches are red. So we get to complete one very easily, carrying our black along. There's one, but then the second one has to be finished with black. Two loops on our hook, drop the red, pick the black back up, 
finish our stitch. The next three are black. One, carrying our red, two, and here's our third stitch. So we need to finish this stitch with red. Drop the black, pick up the red, tighten it up just a little bit, and finish our stitch with red. Good four, one, one, two, and three. Now we have the next one is a red stitch. Two loops on our hook, drop our red, pick up the black, tighten it up just a little bit, and finish our stitch with black. Black, red, black, red, black, red. Now the next one stitch is black. We have to drop our black, tighten up our red just a little bit, and finish that stitch with red. And the next two stitches are red. So the first one is easy peasy, just a normal single crochet. The second one is two loops on our hook. Drop the red, pick up the black, and finish our stitch with the black. Now we don't need to carry the red anymore because it does not need to go all the way to the edge. So now we're just going to do the last four in black. One, two, three, and four. So there's row three already. So that was easy. We have four blacks right here. Four blacks, a red, black, two red, three black, one, one, two red, and four. There's our 19 stitches for row three. All right, we want to move on to row four. Remember, this is a seven row repeat, and it will end up looking like this. It doesn't look like much right now, but it will, I promise. Chain one, turn your work. The first four stitches, See, and now here's my stitch marker and here's my red, so this is the side we want to keep our yarn on. The first four stitches in row four are black, so there's one, two, three, and now the last one we have to finish with red. So we're going to pull up two loops on my hook and we're going to pull the yarn, the black back here and hold it with my thumb, finish this stitch with the black. Now you can see that our next stitch is going to be right here. So our next stitch is red. We want to carry our black along so let's move underneath this our black yarn and in through our next stitch. Grab our yarn, grab the red, two loops on our hook. Pull the red over and hold it with your thumb. Tighten that up and finish our stitch with the black. All right now our next stitch is black just the one stitch, so yarn over two loops on our hook, pull the black over, hold it with your thumb, tighten up your red and finish that stitch with red. One red stitch, so do the same, pull up two, pull your red over the black and just hold it with your thumb, and there you go, finish your stitch with black. So it was four, one, one, one. Our next four stitches are black. So carrying our red along, there's one, two, three, and now our last one we don't want to finish. Two loops on our hook, pull our black yarn over, hold it with the thumb, tighten up our red a little bit if need be, and finish that stitch with red. Our next stitch is red. Finish our stitch with the black, so pull our red over, hold it with the thumb, tighten up the black a little bit, and finish our stitch with black. One stitch of black, two loops on my hook, pull the black back over the red and hold it with my thumb, and finish that stitch with the red yarn. One red stitch. So again, the same thing, pull up two, pull the red over, hold it with your thumb and finish the stitch with black. Now our last five stitches are black. We don't have to carry our red anymore, it just needs to be on this side where we've left our marker, it just needs to be on this side. So we're going to pick it up again the next pass. So there's one, two, three, four, and 
number five. So there's row four. Four black, red, black, red, four black, red, black, red, five black. And that's row four. Row five. See, we're almost done. Chain one, turn your work. Now you see our red is on the back. That's where we want it to be because that's where our marker is. It's important. Now this is one of the easier rows, so this one is nice. The first six stitches are black. One, two, three, four, five, and six. But don't finish it because we need to finish that stitch with red. Drop your black, pick up your red, make sure your black stays on the side with the marker, and finish that stitch with your red. And so we're ready for one stitch of red. Turn over, pull through two loops on our hook, drop the red to the back, and finish our stitch with the black. Now the next six stitches are black, so we want to carry our red along with us on this one so it's ready to work next time. But there's one, two, three, four, five, and our sixth stitch we want to finish with red. Whoopsie. So yarn over, pull up, drop our black, tighten up a red if need be, and finish that stitch with our red. One red stitch, and we have to finish with black. Drop our red, pick up black, finish that stitch. And we'll carry the carry the red with us for two stitches and then you can drop the red completely and leave it in the back and finish off this. There's one, two, the last five of these are all black. But I just wanted to carry that red along a little bit because it doesn't need to go all the way to the end. It needs to be ready to be worked right up in here next time for the next row. So again, this is the easiest row. Six black, one red, six black, one red, five black. That's the easy row. You only have to change colors twice. And just bring your red along with you until about here. That one's easy too. That was the easiest row. Row six, chain one, turn your work. Row six, the first three stitches are black. So there's one, two, and our third one we have to change color. So that means we are going to pull our black over, hold it with our thumb, and finish our stitch with the red. The next stitch is red, so we want to go under our black yarn so we can carry it along, and then through our stitch, yarn over, pull under everything, and now we have to finish our stitch with black. So this is probably the trickiest one right here. So move your red over, hold it with your thumb, tighten up your black a little bit, and finish that stitch with black. That was probably the trickiest part of the whole thing. And it wasn't even that bad. Our next one stitch is black. So we have to pull our black over, hold it with our thumb, finish that stitch with red. Now we get three reds in a row. So carry our black along one two, and there's our third, so we yarn over, pull up, pull our red over, hold it with our thumb, because we're on the side, we want to keep the red on this side, finish our stitch with the black. And the next two stitches are black, one, and the second one we have to finish with the red, so two, yarn, two loops on our hook, Pull the black over, hold it with our thumb, tighten that up a little bit if you need to, and finish that stitch with red. Got one red stitch, so two loops, pull the red over, hold it with your thumb, finish your stitch with black. One black stitch, yarn over, pull up, pull your yarn over, 
cross over that red, hold it with your thumb, finish your stitch with red. The next three stitches are red. So carry our black along one and two. And number three, we have to finish with black. So yarn over, pull up two loops. Pull our red over, hold it with the thumb. Tighten that up a little bit if you need to and finish our stitch with black. The next two stitches are black. Carry our red, there's one. And here's our second one. Two loops on my hook. Let's see. Bring my black over, hold it with my thumb and finish my stitch with red. One red stitch. So we have to pull our red over and finish that stitch with black. And now we can leave our red right here because our last stitch is black. So we had three, one, one, three, two, one, one, three, two, one, one. This is probably one of the worst rows, but it's still not really that bad. There's only 19 stitches, so it can't be that bad, right? All right, so our red is hanging back. Chain one, turn our work. Now we're on row seven. This is our last row in our repeat. So the first two stitches are black. One, and in the other one here, we want to finish with red. Okay, our stitch marker is on that side, so I want to drop the black to the back. Black to the back and finish this stitch with red. And then one red stitch. Pull up two, drop our red towards the back, and finish our stitch with black. So every time you're changing colors to finish your stitch with the next color. One black stitch. So we have to drop our black and finish that stitch with the red. We have four red stitches, so we we'll carry our black along. One, two, three, and then number four, we have to finish with black because it's time for a color change. So drop the red to the back and finish that fourth stitch with your black. One black stitch, two loops on my hook, drop my black, pick up the red, finished our stitch right there. The next stitch is red. Two loops on my hook, drop the red, change the black. The next stitch is black. So you get in a really fast, really good rhythm of doing this. Finish your stitch with red. Next four stitches are red. So we're going to go carry our black along. There's one and two and three. And there's our fourth stitch. Pull up two loops on our hook, drop the red, pick up the black, and finish our stitch with black. And we have one black stitch. Finish our stitch with red. One red stitch. Finish our stitch with the black. And our last two stitches, you can drop your red right now and just leave it where it is. Our last two stitches are black. And that's row seven. That is your seven row repeat. So this last one was two, one, one, four, one, 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 four, one, one, two. So there's our seven row repeat. I do that again, all seven rows again, and it will look like this. See, now it's starting to look like the jacquard pattern. And to get my dimensions out, see here's half of it. And then it's going to do the other half. So now you do one through seven. Again, to get to here. And then after that, to get my dimensions the way I needed it, I needed to do the first five one more time. So I did seven, and then I repeated those seven again. And then here I repeat the first five again. So then it just keeps going like this. So you could really make a blanket out of this and just keep going and going and going and making it huge. Just keep doing those seven repeats over and over and over again. And you can see how it doesn't look like much. 
and then it turns into, oh, that's starting to look cool. And like, oh, it looks really cool. I love this. So our very last row at that point, remember I did seven, seven, and then the first five again. Very last row, I cut off my red because we're going to weave that in later. Chain one, turn our work, and just like we did on all the other ones, our last row is a row of single crochet all the way across to even everything up. Make sure that all of our rectangles, at least on one side, the dimensions are 19. That's going to help us when we start to finally build our sweater. And there's my last stitch. Yay! Last stitch. So there you go. See how cute that is. And you can definitely tell this is the wrong side. And this is the right side. This one just looks a little cleaner. Made a card square. Yay! And there is my graph. Seven row repeat. I did seven. Then I repeated those seven again. And then I repeated the first five. And that gave me my dimensions. So as long as you get to the dimensions that you want, just keep repeating those sevens until you're done. And you need to make 16 of these for the Harry Style sweater, which sounds like a lot, but when this is a $1,900 sweater, it's probably worth an afternoon of making 16 jacquard squares. So next time we get to start building this, get your 16 squares done here and all of your other colored squares done and then we get to start building our sweater, which is going to be so much fun and it's going to be so cute. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.